Orion hacked client has been updated to 1.21.70 and 71 of course so to get it you want to head over to horion.download this is their official website and it is going to be linked down in the description below together actually with my discord server which contains many more clients just like this one so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that also just for the record compare this time to this one this is like a difference of 12 minutes if you guys like that consistency then consider subscribing anyways on Horizon's official website you can simply click on this green download button and the download will start automatically anyways here as you can see in my downloads i have the Horizon injector and i've got minecraft 1.21.70 started up um if you already had this injector then you don't actually need to even re-download it anyways we can simply open this up and right over here is the Horizon injector with this, we can click on the green inject button and that is automatically going to inject Horion client into Minecraft. As you can see, it's really that simple. And now I'm just, for an example, going to head into a single player world and show you exactly how to use this. How to get at least started with uh, using this, that is, if you want a full in-depth tutorial that I made on how to use Horion client, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, for right now we can get started and to open up the click GUI area, you want to press on the insert button on your keyboard that is going to allow you to open and close up the click GUI area. To change that key, you can head into the chat and then type in dot bind, click GUI just like this and then any key you want, for example F and what that's going to do is bind the click GUI to F, meaning that I can press on F to open and close this. Now, coincidentally, F has also been bound to something else, which um, caused me to like fly a million miles away. To change that, because I know some other people are having issues with that as well, you can type dot unbind all force just like this, and then dot bind click GYF once again, and now that will no longer happen, as you can see. Anyways, uh, back to where we were going, so this is the click GUI area, this contains all of the utilities that Horizon Client has, we can click on these to turn them on, was not a good example, we can click on these to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off, um, on the ones with the little plus over there you can actually right click on them and then they'll get a little bit of a customization menu, uh, some of these as you can see have more customization than others, these customization menus are quite useful. Uh, for the rest, when you're hovering over these, you'll notice that in the bottom left-hand side, you get a little bit of a description of what the utility does, which is definitely quite useful. Anyways, for the rest, this click GUI area should be pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. And so we're going to be moving on right now. Two of the things you see on my screen, uh, the things currently on my screen are there by default. Uh, in the top left hand side, you'll notice something called the tab GUI. If you look over here, you can see that it is currently enabled. And what the tab GUI is, is it uh, is the exact same as the click GUI, which is this area, except you can navigate it with the arrow keys on your keyboard, whilst actually moving around in game as well. Uh, some people like using that sometimes. For the rest, in the top right hand side where you see anti-bot, um, that is the array list and it displays all of the currently active utilities. As you can see, now there's a few more of those. Uh, I can just turn all those off again. Anyways, those are part of the HUD elements. There's a few more things here that you can turn on if you'd like to. Um, and you can, of course, also turn these off. That way your screen is completely clean, except of course, you can still open up the click GUI. So that's pretty neat. Anyways, for the rest, as you did see earlier, um, we used commands, which is pretty cool. And how to use all of the commands that this client has is to type dot help in chat. And what that's going to do is give you a list of all of the commands that Ryan client has together with a description of what exactly the command does. So for the bind command, it binds modules to specific keys. Pretty simple, right? Anyways, for the rest, if you don't know how to use a command, for example, the bind command, we can simply type dot bind in chat, and then the client will tell us the exact usage. Also, item related commands like dot give are not going to work for multiplayer 
still not in this update and I hate to break it to you but they probably never will uh, I made an entire video on why they won't and if you want to watch that I will link it down in the description below anyways uh, for right now I suppose that was basically that if you have any questions or like do of course feel free to leave those down in the comments below for the rest remember to subscribe join my discord server do all that cool stuff and uh, yeah I definitely hope to see you all again in the next one bye bye